What is going on guys? I'm Consumer Tech Review and today we're going to be doing a review of the HyperX Pudding keycaps. These things have looked really awesome. I've seen them everywhere. They're huge. So if you don't know what these pudding keycaps are, they're essentially where two thirds of the actual keycap is going to have a clear opacity type thing so that the RGB glows through the keyboard and it's a really cool way to really make your keyboard pop uh, and not spend very much money. But guys, I just got these in and we're gonna pop them on my keyboard, the Red Dragon K552. So we're gonna pop them on there and then I'm gonna do my review of it. All right guys, so this is the keyboard that we're gonna be modding out with the HyperX Pudding keycaps. I'm super excited. So just to show you the RGB before we actually put them on, uh, this is just a blue color to match my theme, but we can do the normal rainbow one and that's the normal rainbow one that's what it looks like beforehand let me lower the light a bit so you can see that a bit better let's just turn that off that way you can see the lighting on it and they have blue switches it's a really nice red dragon keyboard it's a pretty budget keyboard but i thought put these HyperX keycaps on it make it look really cool but i'm gonna unplug this and then we're gonna get remove all this stuff and put the HyperX keycaps on it all right so here is the box with the pudding keycaps super excited to do this video and if you do want to go check out these exact same hyper x pudding keycaps i will have a link below they're really not that much money especially for what these are going to give you i'm super excited so let's undo this package okay so it comes in the box oh wow that's super cool they literally have the actual keys laid out for you so you don't have to go searching for them that's super nice so this is a full so i have a 10 key less keyboard um, but if you have a 60 percent if you have a full size keyboard all of this is going to work as you can see this has the number pad and stuff on it so that should all work and they do include a keycap remover which is super cool and this one actually looks kind of cool so let's break this open and let's start taking these keys off okay so just from first glance uh, these things look pretty cool. Um, they just look like keycaps, but they do have a nice texture on the top of them. Uh, it's not rough, but it's definitely not like 100% smooth. It's very similar to these, but just feeling these, these actually feel a lot more grippy than these do, and in a good way. Um, I also like the font a lot better. And now is the grind. I'm just gonna take off all of these keys. And finally, the last key. Okay, now with it grinding all of these keycaps off, it's finally ready for the HyperX putting keycaps. I'm so excited. Okay, so because they lay them out for you, I'm just gonna start from this side and just move this way. Guys, I have to tell you right just from doing this, I already like the font a lot better. Here is the difference right off the bat. This is gonna be different for all of your keys. Um, however, they do have a good match with the height of these and the texture on these is actually really, really nice. Okay, so we got the first stack, um, the first one on. It is a little bit interesting that um, they didn't put C. I would have thought instead of putting B in this one, they put C, so they left C out and that should be in the other one right over here and it is, so the C is all the way over there for some reason but and then the spacebar hyperx branded so guys comparatively to the ones that were on here before these are slightly smaller as far as the footprint on the top um and they do feel nicer like to be honest they do feel nicer i just put this one on there to test there is a difference in sound too so take a listen It is distinctively a lower sound, which is pretty interesting, but um, they still sound really good, so no problems there. Let's keep grinding. <laughs> okay, second one down. We just have one more to go, although we won't fill all of this because this is a 10 key less keyboard. Um, if you guys have a 60%, you won't even use um, as much as I'm using, but if you have a full one, again, you still have all the keys. And there it is, guys. It is finally done. I have to tell you just without um, having the light on it looks nicer it looks cooler let's do a sound test now um, and see how it sounds 
Wow, the space bar sounds way better actually. These keycaps just feel um, much more high quality uh, than these did. Everything about them, the fit, the finish, uh, the texture. So HyperX did a really cool job. Uh, now, the big reveal, let's turn it on. Let's see how this thing looks. I am gonna dim the light for you guys so you can see it a bit better. And the moment of truth. Oh, that looks so good. From the above angle, it definitely doesn't look as good as from the sides. Wow, it just glows. Now let me turn this huge light off that I have on and then we're gonna see how it really looks. This thing freaking glows, dude. I'm gonna cut to some B-roll shots right now because from just from the overhead shot, uh, you really can't even see how amazing this thing looks. And honestly, the font, uh, I actually prefer it a lot more over the original font. This thing looks so amazing, guys. Let's cut to the B-roll and then I'm gonna go back to my talking head. Okay, so I just finished putting all of them on and it looks so, so good. First of all, as a keycap overall, these things look really nice and they're really well made. There's no jagged edges, everything's really finished. Um, the clearness looks nice. The font on top is actually really nice and the texture on top is definitely more than, it's not just completely uh, smooth. It does have texture to it, which is what you want. Um, and it is slightly more textured and it, it just the texture feels better than the keycaps that were on there on the stock keyboard for the Red Dragon K552. But for how much these cost, this thing is a really awesome way to really upgrade the heck out of your keyboard. And these things work on any mechanical keyboard. Any mechanical keyboard, you can get this exact same set, HyperX, put in keycaps. They come with a keycap remover and you literally just pop the keycaps off and then put these ones on and you're good to go. So what I actually really like is when there's light outside, obviously you're not gonna see as much of a RGB glow because there is other light, so it's not gonna glow as much. However, even when the keyboard's off, it just makes the keyboard look cooler because it has like this white um, beneath it or this clear kind of, not kind of like an off-white uh, beneath it and it makes the keyboard really pop. Now these also come in white, so if you have a white keyboard, uh, these also come in white. And honestly, I think a white keyboard will probably look better with um, these putting keycaps uh, just because the top is gonna be white and then the opacity is also gonna be white uh, and it's gonna glow through and it'll look better when it's off and when it's on. Uh, so I think that should definitely be a future video. But I looked around a lot for putting keycaps because HyperX is not the only person that makes them. I think they might have been the person that started it. I'm not sure on that, don't quote me on it. Um, however, there's a ton of people making these and I was actually looking at Habit. They make um, some putting keycaps However, I read a bunch of reviews on these other people that make putting keycaps and they just say, you know, the quality isn't there. They have rough edges. You know, some of the, some of the actual font on it wasn't like very well printed or, and they were cheaper than the HyperX keycaps, but really not by that much. And so to me, I was like, no brainer, just get the HyperX ones, get the OG ones, get the really, really nice ones. I really recommend you guys getting these ones if you wanna get the putting ones. Uh, don't cheap out because you're really not saving that much money and the quality from all the reviews that I've read is way, way, way less than what you get with HyperX. So I definitely recommend this. I've had B-roll going this whole time showing how cool it looks and showing how much better it looks for the before and after. So I definitely recommend you guys to check these out if you want a pretty fairly cheap way to upgrade your keyboard, any mechanical keyboard. But if you did wanna go check this out, again, there's a link below and if I helped you out, show you these putting keycaps that are legit. And if you wanna get them yourself, if this video helped you out, help me out, throw a like below. And if you wanna check out the review on the keyboard that I just put the keycaps on, if you're new to my channel, I do a bunch of tech reviews, gaming tech reviews. So definitely check the video out, it should be somewhere here. Click on the video, you'll enjoy it. And if not, you can subscribe, it'll also be one of these corners. This was Consumer Tech Review, and I'll see you guys later.